Hey guys, Captain Jason Prieto, Steady Action Fishing Charters, and uh, we're going to do a little review on the Canyon Bay 28H. Uh, this is a boat I guide out of. Uh, Captain Caleb runs with me, he runs the 24H. Um, great boat, but there's not a lot of videos breaking down the boat out there, so we figured we'd do some running shots and, and kind of do a, a walkthrough of the boat to see what, you're, uh, see what you're getting if you're interested in one of these boats. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get to it. This particular boat, you could do twins on this boat or you can do single. Uh, twins, they do twin 225s with a porter bracket. Um, this particular model, we did the V8 Mercury 300. The boat runs about 50 to 51 light. Um, does great on fuel, get up to three miles a gallon at about 37 mile an hour. Um, we did twin power poles, porter bracket. Back here, you've got your standard swim ladder here. Get in and out of the beach makes for a real good, um, real good time if you're out there at the bar, at the uh, sandbar having fun. And uh, one thing I want to point out on these boats, this is all standard. As you can see, we've got uh, the cup holders slash rod holders, which are real nice. They're all throughout the boat. Um, in the back right here, one of the nice features about this boat, I'm going to show you real fast. This is a tray that pops out. Mine's a little dirty because it gets fished, but that is your bilge right there. You've got the pumps. You get easy access to all your bilge stuff in there. And on this model here, there's a couple different options they have. But um, this one here, we've got two live wells in the back I rarely use. As you can see, I've got stuff in there. It's 33 gallons each. Both pump with 1,100 gallon per hour uh, pumps. Got the same thing over here. And I rarely, again, I rarely use them because they've got the uh, bigger leaning post well. Now this boat comes with a, you could do not the leaning post well where it's a big seat, but on this model we did the leaning post well because that's mainly what we use. Another cool option with this boat, as you can see, we've got easy access to our bilge. And this is a molded little trick they do there where you can put actual five gallon bucket i don't have mine in there and it'll actually shut in there as you can see all your pumps are easy to get to um real easy access and and um makes it easy if you got to work on something so we're going to move forward on this particular boat we did the fusion um stereo system we got two 10 inch subs with four seven and a half all flush mount into the deck i think we're running a 1600 watt amp um and Good thing with Canyon Bay, you can do whatever you want as far as you can do jail audio, fusion, um, electronics. They do a lot of Simrad, Garmin, and Lowrance. So it's, it's a custom builder, so you can do um, just about anything you want on these boats. Cool feature on this live well, 50 gallon leaning post live well. Of course, I got out of Tampa Bay, so having a, a live well that holds an adequate amount of bait is, is huge. This particular model, it's got a shock here, but this actually folds down like this to get into your bait. So the big obstacle over the years is, man, I want a backrest, but the backrest is in the way. So they've came up with a way to um, kind of integrate the both of them in there to make it where it, uh, it's good for when you want to fish. And if you want to go to the beach and relax, you got a little backrest on the leaning post well. Again, you don't have to do this leaning post well. They've got a big seat with a tackle station, and then you would definitely use the back two wells. Uh, moving forward here, um, we did two glove boxes. These are just storage units. Um, you get all your stuff in. Did a 16 inch Lowrance on this one. You can do a 16 or a 24 or two 12s without the glove boxes. You can do pretty much anything you want. It's got a, a big console face here with plenty of uh, room to do things. Uh, this boat, I did the five inch Mercury vessel view, which is nice to give you all your engine data. Um, makes it real easy. Uh, we'll, we'll dip into the console. This thing's a little dirty because we just did this on a whim. But So this is where all your wiring is. And you can see I've got all my junk in there. Battery switches, everything's labeled, cleanly done. That's the amp, power steering pump. Everything, pretty much all your wiring is in here on this particular boat. Now the, the difference on this boat is the batteries are actually in the head console. They have a false floor. Now, if they you wanted the actual head console to be a head, which I don't, you would put the batteries in here. So, but as you can see, all the wiring's nice and clean and detailed. Um, we'll shift over this way and show you. This is again, I got my stuff in here, but this is the head console. 
that actually drops down. There's a false floor there that I have, but if you did the drop-in head, you would actually have that. As you can see, I've got all kinds of stuff in there, and it makes for great storage. If you want the, if you want it for the bathroom, they can do that as well. Uh, this is probably one of the simp simpler models. Uh, we did a half tower. The tower's built by Lumen Outfitters. They did a heck of a job. It's a two-person tower. Uh, we got a nine-inch Lowrance up there, and uh, real simple layout here. This is a 100 quart cooler in the front. We've got a cushion package that'll hit this front deck here that you can put in for you going to the beach. They're on, as you can see, these little tabs here are magnets. So you can put them on, snap them in when you want to go to the beach. If you're fishing, you don't have to have them on there. We don't have them on there today. Uh, the bolster pads uh, are all standard. They can get, these are pretty basic. You can get real dressy, do all kinds of colors and whatnot. Um, this boat also is equipped with a, uh, <coughs> a um, fresh water wash down. Fuel tank, um, you've got two options. On the single engine model, you really don't need to do the second tank. So we have a 92 gallon in the rear. If you did twins, you can go with a 40 gallon that would be up here underneath the floor in the front. Um, really don't need to do that with single. I mean, I, you've got a ton of range on it. Um, let's move forward to these hatches here. So the hatches are all on shocks, plenty of storage. As you see here, these are all just dry storage hatches. You can use them. Um, this one here is dry storage. On the 24, I've actually used it for a fish box if you're running offshore. Um, they're all insulated so they can be used for however you would like. Again, all stainless hardware shocks. As you can see, I don't have a whole lot in there because we got most of the stuff in the console. Another storage compartment. And moving to the front here, if you look right here, this is a huge compartment, 60 gallon to be exact. Nothing in there because I got everything already put in the other hatches, but you could do, you know, put your life vest or, or whatever you want here. There's a ton of storage. Um, another cool feature with this boat is the uh, anchor locker. So coming here, if you look, anchor locker is huge. You've got plenty of room for big anchors. And it makes for a easy job. There's a lot of boats out there that you can't get a any kind of size of anchor in the opening, which is really aggravating. Uh, last thing I want, we'll walk back to the back here, a couple things. You've got a, your salt water wash downs over there. Fresh water hose comes out over here. Um, other cool thing about the 28, huge cleats. They use the big, real big cleats on there, which make not make it nice. Um, coming back to the dash, one thing I forgot to cover. If you look here, um, there's no switch panel. So standard in all the Canyon Bays is C-Zone. So C-Zone is right there. And when you come here, this would be all your switches. So that turns on your live wells. Anything that's on the boat that have a switch runs through uh, your Lowrance or your Garmin or whatever unit that, that you might have. Um, what's nice about this, it makes the dash clean and it also if you're using your unit up top you can do the same thing you can down here up top so you run all your switch panels and everything from up there um, this is a quick little rundown of the boat we're going to do some running shots but as you can see it's it's got a ton of room and it's a it's a great riding boat i fish inshore so a lot of people think this boat's too big for inshore and, and i've owned a bunch of 24s and and i probably about 10 of them and this is my first 28 and this boat does everything the 24 does as far as running shallow it's just got a lot more room and really checks a lot of boxes if you're looking for a boat to run offshore run inshore or go to the go to the island or, or just have a good day on the water with the family but anyhow guys we appreciate you tuning in don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, hopefully we'll see you out on the water